Thanks to technology and dedicated research, breast cancer outcomes have steadily improved over recent years. If diagnosed early, director of breast oncology here at Henry Ford says you're looking at a 98 plus percent survival rate, but early detection is key. Just take it from Clinton Township mother of three, Gina Bova. A self-check in the shower 12 years ago caught a string bean shaped lump on her right breast. Didn't hurt, wasn't inflamed. Um, just a little, it was a red flag. That red flag was cancer. It was extremely scary. You, you go from A to Z, you know, I can't, I can't leave this world and leave three children and a loving family. Gina is positive for the BRCA2 gene mutation, which can increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. And it's uh, typically seen in families that have uh, a significant history of breast and or ovarian cancer. That increased risk can be anywhere from a 60 to 80 percent lifetime risk. While BRCA1 and 2 may be common mutations linked to cancer, they're not the only ones, says Dr. Jessica Bensonhaver. We actually do 40 gene panel testing now on patients that we think may have a gene mutation putting them at high risk. People without any hereditary risks or gene mutations can get breast cancer too. For an average healthy American woman, the risk of breast cancer is around 12 percent. Women with a 20 percent or above risk level are considered high risk, which may require additional screening and earlier mammograms. Those generally start at 40. All women, um, regardless of their history, are recommended to at least start risk assessment at the age of 25. So if you are high risk, we can identify you and start the appropriate screening. And if you're undergoing screening or imaging for breast cancer treatment and also plan to get the COVID vaccine, tell your doctor. While it's safe to get the vaccine during treatment, the shot could impact what they see on a screen. So, for example, if the patient gets the vaccine in their left arm, it causes lymph node swelling in the lymph nodes under the arm and actually in through the chest. Um, so it is a very important that we know that if the patient comes in for their screening imaging or if the patient is undergoing any sort of treatments because we know to expect seeing it. As for Gina, after a mammogram, ultrasound and biopsy, she and her doctors agreed a bilateral mastectomy was her best course of treatment. She's been cancer free for 12 years. I was healthy, active. Um, if I would have let that go, I very, very good chance I wouldn't be talking to you right now. And again, the best thing you can do to be proactive is knowing your risk factors. That starts at age 25. We'll post all of this information online at WXYZ.com. In Detroit, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.